Magandang araw mga kasiplayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will construct frequency distribution table and we will define other related terms. In statistics, a frequency distribution is a list, table, or graph that displays the frequency of various outcomes in a sample. Each entry in the table contains the frequency or count of the occurrences of values within a particular group or interval. There are several steps in constructing a frequency distribution table. First, identify the highest and the lowest scores. Second, compute for the range, which is equal to maximum value or maximum score minus the minimum score. Third, select the number of classes desired. This is usually between 5 and 20. Fourth, find the class width by dividing the range by the number of classes and rounding up. Fifth, pick up a suitable starting point less than or equal to the minimum value. Identify the class intervals. And lastly, tally the data and find the frequencies. But first, let us have a recall on some terminologies that we will encounter in this topic. Range refers to the difference between the lowest and the highest values. A class refers to the grouping of values by which data is binned for computation of a frequency distribution. Class intervals refers to the numerical width of any class in a particular distribution. Mathematically, it is defined as a difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit. Class width is the distance between the lower limits of consecutive classes. Let us have our first problem. The following are your scores obtained by 45 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 100-item test. Make a frequency distribution table with 7 classes. First thing to do is to identify the highest and the lowest scores. The highest score is 93, while the lowest score is 10. Using this data, we will now compute for the range, which is equal to highest minus the lowest score. So the range is equal to 93 minus 10, which is equal to 83. Therefore, the range of the group is equal to 83. Third, select the number of classes desired. This is usually between 5 and 20. Since the direction states that we are about to form 7 classes, we will choose 7 classes. Let us now find the class width by dividing the range by the number of classes and rounding up. That is equal to 83, which is the range that we have computed a while ago divided by 7, which is the desired number of classes. 83 divided by 7 is equal to 11.86. Rounding up 11.86, that will be equal to 12. Fifth, Pick a suitable starting point less than or equal to the minimum value 
and identify the class intervals. So our class intervals will be 10 to 21 since 10 is the lowest score and we have 12 as the class size. So 10 up to 21, we have 12 scores followed by 22 to 33, 34 to 45, 46 to 57, 58 to 69, 70 to 81, 82 to 93. All class intervals must have equal class sizes or class width. Six, let us now tally the data and find the frequencies. I will show you the tally of the data in the table. From 10 to 21, we have 3. 22 to 33, we have 4. 34 to 45, we have 6. 46 to 57, we have 9. 58 to 69, we have 10. 70 to 81, we have 5. And 82 to 93, we have 8. Lower and upper limits. The lower limit of for every class is the smallest value in that class. On the other hand, the upper limit for every class is the greatest value in that class. Using the same table, let us now identify the lower limit and the upper limit of each class interval. 10 to 21, the lower limit is 10. The upper limit is 21. 22 to 33, the lower limit is 22, while the upper limit is 33. 34 to 45, the lower limit is 34, the upper limit is 45. 46 to 57, the lower limit is 46, the upper limit is 57. Do the same thing until the last class interval. Class boundaries. They are halfway points that separate the classes. The lower class boundary of a given class is obtained by averaging the upper limit of the previous class and the lower limit of the given class, while the upper class boundary of a given class is obtained by averaging the upper limit of the class and the lower limit of the next class. Using the same table, let us now identify the class boundaries. The class boundary of 10 to 21 is 9.5 to 21.5. 22 to 33, the class boundary is 21.5 up to 33.5. 34 to 45, the class boundary is 33.5 up to 45.5. Do the same until the last class interval. Let us now check your knowledge. The following are the scores obtained by 50 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 50 item test. Make a frequency distribution table with 7 classes and identify the lower and upper limits and boundaries of each class. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing the activity. Good luck! Let us now check your work. Here is the complete frequency distribution table of the given problem. Thank you for watching Sir Oknex YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!